from Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's the Kirk Herbstreit Varsity Football Series presented by Burger King. Tonight, Notre Dame High School out of Sherman Oaks, California. The Knights set to take on the Klein Oak Panthers out of the greater Houston area. The fourth and final game here at Cowboys Stadium on a busy, busy Labor Day. Trouble with the kick to Notre Dame. Back to receive is Jacob Smith. Finds a seam on the left side. Cuts it over the 45 to the 50 yard line to start it off for Notre Dame. Getting after you. Kenneth Box takes a handoff, shakes a tackle inside the 20 yard line. Near the middle. Okay. Notre Dame out of Sherman Oak, California. Second series of the game, and right out of the shoots, Ryan Castor, right. led by Kevin Rooney. 31, and Boggs again. Gets some space. Step. All right, first to goal now for Notre Dame. Hand off to Boggs, right up the middle. Touchdown, Knights. There was nobody in his. Was uh, when we did, uh, what the heck was, uh, well, I don't know. It was, it, uh oh. Oh, hang on, we got a little double There's pass Ryan, here. Ryan Castorf again has to be one man, and he's going to do it right now. Yes, he's in. Makes right. it into the end zone. Woo. Ryan Castorf outran the open middle of the field. Tyler Thomas is coming out at the bottom of your screen here on the left hand side. He's just wide open in the middle of the field. I mean, that's an easy pitch and catch for the first down. It's a blown coverage in the secondary. Finds Patrick Dayal, turns the corner, picks up an. All right, Deal. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, they probably got a few more left. They haven't shown yet. 14-7 at the half. Notre Dame leading. Welcome back, Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The Knights of Notre Dame fired up. A leader right now at the half. 14-7 over the Clyde Oak Panthers. And here come the Panthers, ready for the second half. Here at the stadium as we wrap up the Kirk Herb Street Varsity Football Series here tonight. Notre Dame resumes here. Kenneth Box crossing the 30 yard line. A whole long like list it. of uh, famous yeah. names, huh? Yeah, you could do, like I said, that's a good six degrees from Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California. I bet you could get there pretty quick. That might be Nick Folk right there, as a matter of fact. I'm pretty sure that is him. Maybe Neil go track him down. Here's a key. Box turns the corner, tries to get in. He will. Just in the inside corner. Touchdown, Notre Dame. I mean, this offense is uh, this offense is humming. They don't waste any time. That's I mean, they're ready between plays. It's it's quick back to the line of scrimmage as well. There's Kenny Box again. All that speed on that right side, early on the oh, left side. Uh, he is hard to haul down, isn't he? Not just third and three, but take a, take a look at the shot that Kamadi Ramsey takes. Catches the ball here, thinks he's going to get into the end zone, and the safety coming down over the top. Excuse me, linebacker Eddie Fatal just levels him. First down. I haven't seen that formation all night. A live formation. All right. All right. Get it box right there for six more. And the Knights are pushing that lead. Now at 20, awaiting the extra point. Down rival. That young man wondering, it's way past his bedtime. It's a late night of football here in Arlington. <laughs> Kenneth Boggs again with the carry. That's Deshaun Smith, number 21, has uh, just checked in for the defense, getting his first action of the night. And they're making the stop. Second down and six now coming up. 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Kasdorf out to Tyler Thomas. A lot of offensive weapons, but I think the scheme that Notre Dame is running in, in having free runners at the quarterback, like Andrew Kimball, he's just wreaked havoc all ball game. It's been really difficult to get any continuity on the offense going in. Waits not able to handle the punt. Loose ball right there. Still loose Still inside the, the 10. That's Deshaun Smith who finally recovers that football inside the 10-yard line. 
of Kasdorf and mentioning the throws that he can make. Last year, he completed 69% of his passes. One thing that you would maybe look at, you'd say, well, the guy threw 36 touchdowns, but he also threw eight picks. Maybe a little bit high on the pick side, right? Uh, but he only had one two-interception game, and he played 12 games last year, and that was right. against Compton. And he also had four touchdown throws in that game, and they won the game 42 to nothing. So, Over the middle, Kasdorf, Tyler does, Thomas breaks does, the tackle. He's yeah. in. Kasdorf does a great job of protecting the football, and he's got outstanding skill position players, and it's really good to see Tyler Thomas back in the game after walking off with cramps earlier. But going in and making the catch, and you tell you what, that throw was on. All right, so they'll punt it away again, 6.02 left. Michael Schrobel. And once again, Tyler Thomas nearly blocked there by Notre Dame, but Thomas will feel oh, nice it. punt. 36 yard line. Skips one tackle. Scoots through another one down the right side, shoved down, and inside the 30 yard line. Nice play by John Lewis. Left is head coach David Smith. David Smith, uh, you want to talk about the series as you got the head coach out there, and he was out there in a heartbeat. Right, he saw the play. Yeah, he knew it could have been serious. Eric Solis. It's good, but it's there a, is a flag. Up and good. Yeah, flag is down. We'll check this out. Plenty of leg on yeah. that one from Solis. Offside, they bring it back. Oak. Dan Solis, he, he got it first. Offside. There you go. On the defense, that penalty is declined. Kick is good. What a nice one. Yeah. Current Lim with the catch to end it tonight here at Cowboys Stadium and wraps up a very busy day. Kevin Rooney's Notre Dame Knights come to Texas and take care of Klein Oak 37 to 7, the final. On a late night, Labor Day night, four games here throughout the day, Shay, and teams from all over. Texas, of course, Notre Dame representing California. Team out of uh, Utah making the trip down here. It's a great event, great exposure for the kids and the fans. Absolutely, and you think about the opportunity, not just the exposure, but the opportunity to come to a facility like we're in right now and, and, and play as a high school athlete is just tremendous. Let's take it out of the field, check in with Neil Beasley. Neil? All right, with Ryan Kasdorf. He was the man tonight, boy. You, you 16 to 25, a couple of touchdowns. You even caught a big pass. You made it look easy. Uh, yeah, we prepared really hard all week, all summer for this game, and everything just came together. The line blocked real well. Receivers made big plays. Running backs hit the hole. Defense really stepped up. Held them to seven points. You know, it was a great team effort, and we're just happy to come away with the win. All right, now you get to come to Texas uh, for a big away game. You get to play in this stadium, and you get a big win. What's your favorite part of all this? Uh, you know, everything. Just, well, mostly the win because we start off 1-0 in the season. But it was just a great experience. I had a lot of fun, and uh, I'm glad we had the opportunity to do this. And enjoy the ride back. Thank you. I will. All right. Guys, back up to you. Ryan had a big day tonight. Very much. Neil, great job, by the way, on the sidelines. You uh, bet. Appreciate being a part of the broadcast. Good job down there. And, yes, Kasdorf, uh, all of us were anxious to see what kind of player he was in person. Yeah. And for the moment, they stepped on the field during warm-ups. You and I both looked down and looked at each other and said, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he looks the part. Uh, he plays the part and uh, had a really nice game against a good team. So Notre Dame will go back uh, to California with their first victory of the season and get ready for their next ball game Saturday night against Moore Park High School. Klein Oak will return home. And they got another ball game coming up as well this weekend. Short work week. Yeah, but it is a short week for those guys. But I tell you what, you talk about what Ryan Kasdorf had to say when he mentioned the fact that that offensive line blocked well, it blocked extremely well. And again, let's give those guys a lot of credit up front for Notre Dame because this defensive front for Klein Oak is probably one of the strengths. They've got Luke Muncy up there, as we were talking about earlier in the broadcast, as well as uh, Nathan Hughes, Tom Call, Demetri Gilliam. I mean, they've got some good players up front, and that, that Notre Dame offensive front did a fabulous job, and Ryan Kasdorf, of course, took advantage of it. Ryan Kasdorf, Tyler Thomas, a whole slew of athletes on this Notre Dame team, including Andrew Kimball. They brought it tonight here at Cowboy Stadium. Once again, our final score from Cowboy Stadium here in Arlington, Texas, Notre Dame High School, 37, Klein Oak, 7. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of the Kirk Herbstreit. Varsity Football Series.